hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you all here thank you thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos so so in today's video guys we'll be making cucumber salad so and to make our cucumber salad yeah all the things that we're going to be needing so there i was showing you that um we'll be using the strawberry the red bell pepper grapes tomatoes and um, yogurt some olive oil and of course the cucumber which you can see right there so to start with guys i'm going to go ahead to start um chopping my my cucumber guys please don't judge me i'm not the best at um chopping things so so i'll just go ahead and cut that into half and do the same to the other half so what i'm going to do now is to get is to remove this um, part of the of the cucumber because it has a lot of water of course i'm not going um so i'll just use the spoon to scoop that all out and yes, I'm not going to throw that away. I'm still, is it I heat them or I use them for some facial recipe or something, but I'll just, I'll get a good use of it. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and scoop that whole out. And um, yeah. So guys, I've gone ahead to scoop that out. So what I'm going to do now is to do the rest with the holders and Go ahead to start chopping them. So guys, please don't laugh at the way I, I'm not the best at doing this. I swear to God. <laughs> so here's what I'm doing. Um, I was even confused doing this. I don't know why. So I went ahead to slice them first and then start chopping them. So guys, after chopping this, I'll just go ahead and put that right into a bowl and uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do next is to start chopping this um, tomatoes. Normally, actually, I'll use um, cherry tomato for this, but since I don't have them have that at home i went ahead to use this um tomatoes also which was even which was not bad so when i want to make something i don't wait until i have the perfect ingredient i just try to improvise with whatever i have in my kitchen and it was really really good and i'll I'll say that, guys, you should do the same. We shouldn't wait until we have something perfect. At least sometimes it is good to improvise and you'll be amazed. At least it will give you a different taste of what you are normally used to. So I didn't regret using this at all. It was really, really good. It was fine. It didn't make any, any difference at all. I didn't see the difference in using a cherry tomato and a normal tomato and in this part of the world the tomato is not like the one we get in africa so they tend to be a bit sweet and also very watery so it was really really fine so guys yeah i'm, I'm i'll go ahead and start cutting my red bell pepper so i'll start by slicing those this red bell pepper also is kind of um sweet it's not the normal one we'll get in africa so this one is so this red bell pepper is going to add a bit of sweetness to the to our cucumber salad and of course some crunchiness also which was really really amazing i love to crunch on things especially when i'm having salad i'm not the type i'm not very very good in eating salad for me to eat salad 
oh god i just have to do something improvise you know make it look i don't want it to look really 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 like salad if you're a salad fan kudos to you but i am not so whenever i want to eat salad i like to make it look you know presentable and um you know taste different so that it doesn't feel like i'm eating salad if that makes sense so now yeah i have my grip and um, i'm just going to go ahead and start chopping that also this is going to add some extra sweetness to the cucumber salad so i would have added some apples to this also but i don't know what happened lately i've been having allergy after eating um apples when i eat them i tend to have a itchy throat and swollen lips i don't know what happened and yes guys i wash my fruits very well after washing them i soak them in vinegar water this is how i wash all of my fruits and at this and at the end of the day i still have this allergy i don't know why it's just me because the rest of my family don't feel the same maybe it's just me so the only way i can have um apple these days is by juicing them so apple <laughs> and i used to be a very good lover of apple but these days no i just have to juice them if i want to take them so i went ahead to cut my strawberry and um i added that for the blueberry i'm not going to be chopping that because you know when you cut blueberry because if i cut it it's going to make the salad have a different look like one purple or reddish look so i i wanted to avoid that so that is why i didn't cut the blueberry so for the egg i'm going to remove the the white parts and just chop that into the salad so guys Normally, I'll use cottage cheese for this um, salad, but because I don't have that at home, like I said, I improvise. So whatever I have at home, I use it. I don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. All I want to know is let it look nice. And to me, guys, this look really, really nice and beautiful. I don't know about you guys. This really looked beautiful. And I didn't even feel it like the cheese wasn't there. So it was a very, very good replacement. <laughs> so i went ahead to squeeze out the juice of one lemon to and i added that um, and i added some olive oil to that some black pepper i added some salt and i'm just going to cover that and give it a very very good shake Yeah, so guys, sorry, after doing this, I missed the clip where I was showing you. I thought I was filming, but <laughs> obviously I wasn't. So I was showing you the result of how you look after shaking, after shaking it together. So I just went ahead to pour that into the salad and set that aside. So now I want to make some healthy cream for the salad. So I just added like um, five tablespoon of um, yogurt I, I, you can see me showing you the it's just a plain greek yogurt i added the yolk of the egg to that and now i'm going to squeeze some extra black pepper to that then i'll go ahead to add some extra virgin olive oil this is about one tablespoon and half i just eyeball it it wasn't a lot it's just about one tablespoon and half of that so i'm going to add just a little bit of salt and i'll just go in and add some sesame seed this sesame seed is is going to give some extra crunchiness it was really really mad it was really so good because when i was eating it i could feel the taste the sound of the of the See same seed in it it was really really good so i just went in with a fork to match that so that i can mix that all up together so guys one thing is if you are going to make this whenever i make it i make the the portion i know i'm going to finish in a day because so be, because of the egg i don't know i just don't like the taste the next day so i just make the portion i know i can finish for that day so that's how i normally make this 
And yes, we finished this in a day. I wasn't the only one, guys. So, guys, with my spatula, I'm going to go ahead and mix the salad together. See how beautiful that looks. So, I'm just going to mix that all up. And, uh, you know, what else? What else am I going to do to crown my efforts of slicing all these things? I'll go ahead and take some portion for myself in a plate and uh, and try to enjoy this yeah i worked hard for this it's not easy to chop all this to get that so guys i want to say a very big 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 mighty thank you to everyone for always coming back to watch my video and to you all that have been looking out for me i really appreciate you guys asking me why i've not been uploading guys <laughs> all i want to say is thank you thank you guys i really appreciate you all i thank you for always coming back to watch my video it really really means a lot to me i appreciate you all youtube has been one big family since i've came since i joined youtube and started uploading videos it has been a, a happy moment for me and i am so blessed to have you all in my life so guys, I went ahead to scoop a portion for myself and uh, when I tasted it, I felt the need for some extra sweetness. So now I'm going to get some raisins and add it to that. And guys, this really made a lot of, lot and lots of sense. You know, it's the raisins took this to another level and when I was eating this i could bite on the sesame seed, seed it was really really so good so guys thank you all for watching if you are still watching at this moment i want to say thank you and of course be sure to subscribe if you are new here and turn on the notification bell thank you all for watching until i see you in my next one bye